What's up everybody? Peace keep here. Today for you guys welcome back to the Town 13 and that's in space. But today what we're gonna be talking about are the super witches and the army that I put together. Um just a little thing. I've been using super witches um for right now. I'm enjoying using them. Uh but most of you guys know super witches are one of the slower troops. As you can see here I I boosted my super witches here for three days. Uh, so you need um super witches need to be max level five to get your max super witches um, as you guys can see damage to the 760 and 3200 hit points as well um the max units is summon is one big boy and they take 10 minutes to train so you can see these um super witches are really really um really really big on their housing space at 40 so they're really really limited um how much you can put in your army um, but these are the big boys that they do spawn and the movement speed is 12 for them and the super witches movement speed is 12 as well um, so what I'm going to talk about is the army that I put together is this one right here with the super witches um, I've just been really using them now I use mass witches sometimes that works just as well um, but I decided just to check in use some different stuff together with it um, I have two archers, super war breaker a wizard, four healers for the war and walk. I'll get to that in a minute. Two minions, four super um, witches, six boulders, and two ice, um, ice columns as well. Um, so the war and walk, I normally use with this army. I normally see a lot more war and walks than queen walks. Um, I don't really think you could, you could use a queen walk for the four healers. Back down 13, I believe five, five would be um, a little better. Um, so what I'm doing with this army is the war and walk with the four healers. I'm using the siege back with this army. I've been changing up the CC so much sometimes. Um, I normally used to use hogs. I use Valkyries in the CC with a raw wrecker. Uh, so I've been changing up, changing, uh, well, going wrong with different CCs, even sometimes a Yeti Blimp. So I really changed up the CCs to seeing what works. And I think this one um, isn't too bad to use. Um, so we're gonna actually go into one of the attacks, well, one of the replays I, I did. I'm using some Legend of League hits. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll do one in this video, but we're actually gonna go over one with the, the triple as well. That's the one I want to go over, and then the other two if we can, if we do have the time. So this is the base I tripled with the super witches. Um, as you guys can see, pretty open base. I've seen a lot of the ones, these bases that has the open compartments. You guys can see that's just to throw off attackers and uh, letting your army go out. Uh, sometimes jumps are a little bit better uh, with this one, but sometimes it can open up to a queen charge Especially if you funnel correctly you really the queen can really get really deep into the space um, So my f initial thought on this space was to water walk this out I decided to water walk this out because if I drop my super wall breaker He would break this compartment And not where I want him to to go. I want the super wall breaker actually come into here um, so that's what I want to walk over on this compartment. Um, it seems like only one of the point defenses were on him, so I believe that'd been better for me. The ground ball, um, as well has a good few ground balls. Have two ground balls, I believe. Yeah, two ground balls and two air and ground balls. So that's why I decided to want to walk over here there instead of here. I believe that I could have funneled this with the siege barracks. I'm a little better than I water with the warden. You probably could use it, um, any other way. Could use seed bats over here, so it could be anyway. But I decided to water walk over on this compartment, so I'm just gonna two times it if it the warden does place. I just I was looking around the base all this time to see where I would drop the warden. So you can see the warden is down, and I want the warden to take out these two mortars and the point defense, which is the archer tower, and get as much defense as I, I, he can get. And next thing, I was just looking around the base, I dropped some archers around. Just to get those army counts, that's what I normally do around. So for the first couple seconds, I always look around the base to see what I can get. Um, so the warden is doing pretty well. He took out this archer tower, so that compartment is not needed anymore. And I'm using ice column. Um, I really like using the ice column to tank. Um, as well, they re they do a good well. Um, they do a really good job of tanking um, defenses, and then when they do, they set off that freeze effect that they do have, which is really really useful. Um, I was I was in between using a golem or ice golem, but I decided well I could use two tanks um, instead of one, so I believe it. Uh, so I just decided to use the two ice golems. So I dropped the, the ice golem, 
and I drop my siege bar. So the Pekka and the Ice Gun work together just clearing these out with the wizards. And it worked pretty nicely for me. And then we're gonna go back here. The warden is still working. So the one thing about war on the rocks is time consuming. So you need to be really really quick with the war on the rock. Um, especially if you need a lot of value because most people can warden out the town hall if these storages weren't there. Um, so it's really really useful to use the war on the rock to take out pretty far defenses or even the town hall. If this ground bull wasn't there, um, I believe this one was pushed back a little bit and set to air ground. Um, I could have even worn a lot of the town hall out if I needed to, especially if these uh, defenses are the um, ellipse storage isn't there. So it's, that's one thing you can look for. Just look at um, your scope in the base, but in Legends League, you need to be really, really quick. So that's what I like. That's what I really like. Um, I enjoy doing. So the Siege Bats is working with the Pekka. I dropped the King and the other Ice Golem. Um, I dropped them pretty quickly because the Warden did exactly what they wanted. I dropped the Super Warbreaker. So you guys can see. This was out. Even I believe if I dropped him the wall breaker where the healers are now, I believe that that they would have gone for that compartment. I'm not too sure, but that's why I opened up here. So that one space did really well. Um, but there's one mistake here that I'm going to show you that I probably did. So I'm going to let the I dropped the bowlers in. And I decided to use bowlers because bowlers are a little bit quicker and just the bounce damage is really really good. So you can see here, I in a way I misplaced my jump. Um, I wanted to jump to get into the, you can see the town compartment, the hero compartment where there is the king, the queen, and the grand warden. The, this compartment here and the eagle, that's why I wanted um, as well, but I just dropped the, my jump a little too far up. Uh, so that's one thing. And you can see the wizards are working on this outhand compartment. So bridges are down, eagle takes his first couple shots. I will then uh, raise, raise them as well through. And then the you can say I have a headhunter and yeti, so the yeti actually did really well going down this comp this corner. Uh, so the CC does come out. I'm not running the poison. I part the queen's the warden's ability, sorry, to get through the archers and the hound. Queen is stuck in the hound, but the hound just got melted by the super bridges. Uh, so you can see in a way that my jump was really bad because they were stuck here in this compartment. I know the eagle. They were targeting the eagle, but they didn't have any way to come out. But there was there were some um of the big boys out in front the freezes um as well that i used i have five freezes i believe i'm using them um around that compartment so the boys are working the um mites are on them at the top that's taking them out the queen is taking them out some witches are on the outside um as well the yeti's working really good the king i uh, i popped his ability to get through the town hall so all the healers on on him with a couple big boys which isn't bad but it's not what you want but you can see here, I flank my royal champion on this compartment right here, and I decided to do that because over here I didn't want to enter to. I could have used it there, but she would have been a lot of heat with that bull, the inferno. So I needed her to come around to take this um, scatter shot and basically do the cleanup. The point of the royal champion for me in this army is cleanup. She does the cleanup and she does the bulk of the damage. I'm um, in the sense that that's why I'm really. That's why you really need the Royal Champion to do as much work as possible. I know the Super Bridges are there, but they're slow too. But the Royal Champion can do really, really good as well. Um, in a lot of situations, the Royal Champion can really bring about some stuff. So you can see some Yetis are there at the top. The King is working with some distraction of the big boys and the Royal Champions. You can see in my clan castle as well, I have two invisibility spells. Uh, so I've been going in between using a ridge, another jump, um, extra freezes. Um, like I'm going in between using different stuff and I think the invisibility spells are really really good to use with the world champion Um, there's only two so you need to be sparing with them And you really need to use them at the correct time So you can say send the world champion world champion wasn't being tired by much just this uh, was tower. I froze this scatter from the queen so she could just save a little bit more health on her She's tanking right now. And I decided to use another freeze on the scatter. I missed the um, cannon as well. So I brought the Queen's ability here from that single target turn of tower and the world champion. Scatter turns wrong, tags her, and then I freeze. I froze here instead of here because I needed to save the world champion. So I decided to use um, a visibility spell on her. So you can see there's a, it's not a super bridge over there, and the big boys came like at the correct time in a way. So you can see why. So I use another invisibility spell on the Queen, on the world champion, sorry, and then I froze a, in a way. I think I froze a little bit too late here 
you can see it ramped up and then that ended up dying i believe i wanted it to save a little bit but it ended up dying but i think the freeze wasn't too bad as well so you can see the world champion is working on the inferno tower and the buff on the world the warden really i believe saved the world champion as well and this one ended up coming a triple uh, which is super super nice because we just had those two buildings i probably could have saved both archers but it ended up working out the minions flew across one of the air bombs ended up finding one of them but the warden is actually pretty quick and he ended up cleaning up these buildings for the triple but this base wasn't a bad build but i really think that i did pretty well uh for the super bitches but to me I, I really enjoyed that one now we're gonna go in here to one of the second ones um the 80 percent and i believe this one could be the last one um so i've seen this base a lot um uh, as well but i did not know how to hit it with super bitches to tell you the truth i have never hit this base with super bitches um so i'm just gonna four time exit this i tried something here i wanted them to jump through but it's only one jump so it's really weird i believe quakes can work pretty well I probably could have warden down here, but I was frightened of the world champion, to tell you the truth. And I'm running a siege bar, so I probably could have changed it to a log launcher. Um, but I think I did. I basically just spammed everything at town hall uh, to get. And to me, it didn't go too bad, but it wasn't the result really I was looking for. But we did pretty, pretty decent on it, I want to see. We got a decent 80, and I tried to get as, as high as possible with super bitches. Uh, so I just used the freezes. I used the invisibility spells um, as well. And I really like using them uh, for like a little charge in a sense. So we just got some super bitches and we ended up finishing off um, that one for it. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys want to use this army, you you can test it out. Especially if you're at, I believe, to get super bitches at time 11. If I'm not too sure. And uh, you probably do. You probably max them out at um, level 5 as well. So you can do try them out. Try this out army for yourself. Um, this is the army here, the two archers, like I said, it's a war breaker, uh, just as well. You could use it in multiplayer, especially if you're not in Legends League. The wizard, four healers, two minions, four switches. You could you could add more switches if you need to, um, but this is just how I use it. Six bowlers, two ice golems. You could use a, you can in, exchange that with a golem or extra giants. It works um, the same way to me. So, two rages, you can drop another you can drop two freezes and bring another rage you can bring another heal another jump if you want to but this is how i try it out and any cc to me works pretty well with it you can go with your go-to can be hogs to help the world champion with the invisibility spells i'll probably try that um sometime but we'll see and i use some heady yet yetis uh headhunter just in case just to help with cleanup as well and go kamikaze for a uh, a hero um as well but that is it for this video hope you guys did enjoy this little explaining of the super witches army that i normally use and um, there's a couple events there's a balloon event out as well so I'll probably do that uh, for the next event's league but hope you guys enjoyed like i said hit like and don't forget to subscribe hit notification bell as well do not miss any clash of clans content but hope you guys have an awesome day i'm peacekeeper and i'm out